Hi, everybody. This is Scott Saad. This is episode number 999. So we'll see what happens for episode 1000. In any case, I uh, hope that you've had a good week. And let me start by wishing you a good uh, weekend, upcoming weekend. In any case, uh, I just posted a few uh, tweets regarding the continued intrusion of the Dai religion, diversity, inclusion, and equity into all spheres of life. And so I thought that for some of you who may not follow me on social media, I would read you these two tweets and then you could ponder as to whether this is something that should continue to infiltrate all of our human endeavors. So here we go. Moving forward, every single human endeavor involving metrics of performance and excellence should be adjusted via the liberating prism of the Dai religion. For example, how you perform in the 100 meter dash should be adjusted according to your identity markers. If you are in an over represented group and you run 9.73 second trial, we would add three seconds to your time so that the final progressive time is 12.73 seconds. On the other hand, if you are from an underrepresented group and you run a 15.73 seconds trial, we would deduct three seconds from your time so that the final progressive time is 12.73 seconds. In this manner, both runners would end up with a final time of 12.73 seconds, ensuring a more fair and equitable reality. Same log logic would apply for every form of competition. And then I wrote to my buddy Stephen King, who a few days ago did the unthinkable. He said, hey, we shouldn't be using diversity in judging art, but given the fact that he suffers from an incurable case of castratitis, uh, he then walked it back. But no, you know, there are institutional barriers. We have to fight hard. And so I wrote to Stephen because I know that he is committed to the die religion as I am. So here's my message to Stephen. Dear Stephen King, just like you, I am disgusted by the lack of diversity in Hollywood. With that in mind, Will you help me petition the NFL to alter its all-time leading rusher statistics? Of the top 25 rushers, 24 are black and only one is white. This is racist and it must end. Stephen, we need to create an environment where young white kids are allowed entry into the top 25 all-time rushers club. We must remove institutional barriers that create such grotesquely racist stats. Stephen, please use your platform to promote diversity across all endeavors. Slowly we inch, slowly we inch.